Alright, ever since moving into this new apartment, the charging situation for my camera batteries has been somewhat in complete disarray and it's something I'd like to fix, so today we're building a form of charging suitcase station type thing. And we'll need some stuff for this, like this power bank slash power station that we checked out last video, a caliper alongside this radius gauge set to create some 3D printed parts, a set of cables, and eventually of course also some screws. Now I've had some of these hardware cases for a little while now, and there's some nice mounting points on this particular one which will allow us to mount our own panel. So we'll start off by taking some measurements and apply those to this board of melamine which we got from our local hardware store. Initially this might seem like a mistake to do it on the lid of the case as the batteries will fall out during travel, but for me I somewhat like the placement as it simultaneously also acts kind of like a charging wall so to say, and you can quickly glance over and see if everything is okay. But it's also a space that's not necessarily utilised, so we can do other stuff with the rest of the case. After applying those measurements, we'll cut this board of melamine to size. In retrospect, it might have been better to use a multiplex, as I'm still doing these projects in my apartment. And this melamine has the habit of leaving incredibly fine dust, which the dust collection on this machine just doesn't seem to take care of. It's also partly my fault, because I forgot to activate the vacuum cleaner on pretty much all the cuts I did, so... Yeah, anyway. This miter saw is only capable of cutting boards at 30cm and we'll have to flip it over to finish it up and take care of any inconsistencies after that, alongside cutting off that final piece. Now I didn't want to deal with rounding over the corners to the contour of the inside of the case, so I went for some straight angles instead, and in the end I feel that looks a lot better as well. And I'm using the leftover piece we had from the main cut as a stop, so everything can quickly be sawn off. Made sure to give everything a quick sand down and also attempted to take off the sticker which is probably the most frustrating part about buying wood here in the Netherlands. I feel like there should be better solutions than gluing stuff onto the product, but anyway. Did a quick test fit and I realised that perhaps I did cut off a little too much from the corners but in the end that turned out to be quite nice as we could design and 3D print a little mount which holds this board in place. I started the project off not necessarily knowing how I'd mount the board, I just kind of assumed we'd figure it out once we got there, and that has been a pretty consistent occurrence on these videos lately. But the initial plan was actually to drill holes in the wood and just screw it directly onto the plastic. The thing that I wasn't so sure about is how I'd figure out where to drill those holes because I couldn't necessarily mark them really easily. And these 3D printed mounts are far more lenient in that regard. Now this transitions nicely into the sponsor for today's video which is PCBWay. Later on in this project we'll also be using some 3D printed parts which are far more important, but for those that perhaps don't have a 3D printer or don't want to deal with all the hassle that comes with 3D printing, you should definitely check out PCBWay. They offer a variety of services ranging from PCB production and assembly, CNC machining, sheet metal fabrication, injection moulding and of course 3D printing. You can simply drop in a file, choose what type of material you'd like to print it in and get an instant quote for what it's going to cost. Alongside that being a far higher quality than what most consumer grade machines will be able to net you and offering material types like metal which I'm very eager to try out someday so I can definitely recommend you check them out, I left some links in the description down below. So while the corner pieces were printing I gave the board a quick spray paint job with some primer and later on gave it a coat of glossy black which I had left over from another project. I've always been tragically bad at spray paint jobs due to a lack of patience but if you're doing this yourself light coats is the way to go. To be honest with you, for home DIY jobs like this I've never found it to be too appealing as it's very bad to do indoors and the cans are empty in no time so for future projects I'm probably going to go for some normal paint. Now we can attach the mount and put the panel in place. It worked out okay but I should have double checked the tolerances as it was a little loose but I'm not wasting filament just to get it perfect. As long as it stays in place it's good by me. I have severe reservations about using Velcro, I genuinely don't like this stuff, but for a project like this it seemed like the best way to go, which in the end turned out to be a complete waste of money, which we'll get into a little later on, but if you decide to go this route yourself, it's perhaps nice to staple it down, which keeps it from sagging over time. I do this here as well, but I neglected to put it in the center, which is where the issues cropped up for me personally. Now in my case I also made sure to put the soft side of the velcro on the undersides of the chargers, this way they wouldn't stick to the inside of my camera bag which has some kind of velcro fabric. Now this project somewhat relied on a product that I would receive from Ohi, this is a 40,000mAh power bank that they sent over 
and it has a really high output capacity of 140 watts, which will be more than enough to give everything enough juice. Alongside this, a nifty little screen, which will allow us to see what's actually going on and if everything's working out okay. You can check out the full video I did if you're interested. This battery did take a little while to arrive though, so this project was shelved for a couple of weeks and in that time my fears about using Velcro were confirmed as I had already started using the case and everything started to break. In the end deciding to rip off the Velcro and go for a far better solution, putting in some extra time to make it bright, designing some pretty simple sliding brackets here that could be stuck onto the chargers and screwed into the wooden panel. So it's a pretty rudimentary design but it works far better which is why I love 3D printing so much. It's really easy to create simple little stuff like this but it's still really strong so if you don't have a 3D printer and you want to try it out or something definitely check out PCBWay the sponsor. And yeah here we're simply adding some double sided tape to one side of the sliding bracket which will be stuck onto the charger and then redo the whole test bit procedure which did take a little while. Pre-drilling the holes and then screwing the plates in place and while doing this checking if the cables are still capable of crossing over from the hub to the chargers and also checking if it's somewhat straight with the right angle. We can always force the double sided tape a little bit but it's nicer if everything is just put on that properly. Now I have a dedicated video on the hub that I'm attaching here. It's pretty nice but I personally don't use it for file transfer and I feel it's just far better suited for tasks like this where you're just splitting power amongst different USB-C devices. I have links for everything that I'm using in the description. Eventually we put it back in the case and added this little 3D printed hot shoe bracket which holds the Rode wireless goes. And it ended up being a far cleaner build than what it was before. Now to my surprise the chargers take very little power so the 100 watt hub alongside the power bank are Way too overkill for this, but it's nice to have that extra juice if we ever need it. In my case the batteries also stay in place quite nicely when the lid is closed and I'd love to hear your suggestions on what to do with the other side of this case, so let me know in the comments and don't forget to subscribe if you're still here.